What is up guys, it's Mickey and well, no more balaklava I guess. Alright guys, back from vacation, back on grinding some new content. Excuse my voice and eyes, but I really messed up on a scuba dive and I still got some blood all over the place, which is pretty gross. Anyways, I recently had a pretty interesting conversation with some buddies on a forum about my balaklava and why I was wearing it all the time. Some guys found it cool and marketable, I guess, contributing to making a stronger identity for my character and making it easier to recognize, but other guys just didn't bear it and found it disrespectful to real military operators with obstacle necessities and felt I was taking things too far for, you know, a wannabe guy. If you follow the channel long enough, at first I was doing product showcases with voiceovers for my reviews and you get to see me just during the shooting tests while I was wearing my Airsoft outfit, which at the time happened to be with a balaclava on. So things went on, the channel started growing and people on fields and during events started recognizing me even without the balaclava on. It was kinda funny seeing people from afar trying to guess if it was me or not and then come to me asking if that was the case. Cool, let's keep this Batman thing going, I thought. So I switched to this new format and kept the balaclava on basically to hide my identity, which wasn't or isn't secret at all to most of my Italian followers anyways. Of course guys, I'm obviously a big military fan as well, being a modern combat reenactor and a shooter myself. So I kinda went with the SF operator look, wearing combat shit and the old gear room video set. Guys, please remember we are on an entertainment platform and on this channel I'm first and foremost a video maker and we are basically trying to make shit look good on camera. So back to my point, even if I wasn't trying at all to be disrespectful to the military community or military guys and I wasn't absolutely playing pretend, trying to make people assume I was some kind of secret military operator, that was the message that carried through to some of my audience and I absolutely do not want it at all. So let's cut the bullshit from now on and lose the damn thing. We are actually building an awesome community which I'm extremely proud of and the only thing I care about is keep growing together and learn some ninja shit myself. So let's keep it classy and make the adjustments needed and expected from a professional and reliable media outlet. Guys, let's face it, the ethics of Airsoft will always be fuzzy, mostly due to our military look and concept similarities. This is why Paintball never had such a problem and I'm kinda digging this new speeds of thing, because it's obviously not military related, both in look and tactics. It's basically up to us to keep it real and respectful. Most of the guys I play with have always been great, awesome and respectful all the time, but we all know some methods which tends to blow things out of proportion and do not see the sport for what it really is, which is basically just a game. Sure, it can be competitive, challenging and extremely demanding, but at the end of the day to these guys all I can say is, you can play airsoft but you can't play war, so chill out and enjoy democracy. Alright guys, that's about it, let me know in the comments below how you felt about this old balaclava thing and where you feel we should draw a line in the ethics of airsoft. Feel free to like, share and subscribe in case you haven't already. Thanks a lot for watching and as always, stay safe out there!